All right, it's about dinner time. Rows and rows of fresh garden produce grown by local students. Mm -hmm. They got to show off what they grew themselves and help the farmer's market to sell their produce as well. Newsweek's Gabby Hart is live to show us some big name guests stop by to support them. You guys, I don't think I've ever seen kids this enthusiastic about vegetables. I mean, just take a look at these kids. They're having a blast. And I think the reason that they're so excited about this is because they grew every single vegetable out here on their own. What's the word? We have earth! What's the word? We have earth! On Friday morning, more than 400 students from at least 40 schools across the valley came together for the nation's largest student-run farmer's market. I love vegetables. Vegetables have a lot of protein. So, like, if you eat them, you get big and strong when you grow up. The organization Green Our Planet hosted the farmer's market, and their organization has helped build more than 150 gardens in the Las Vegas area. When you give students the seeds to plant and then they tend to the vegetables, they take ownership of them and they take pride in them. So it doesn't matter what they grow, whether it's okra or broccoli or radishes, because they've grown them and taken care of them, then they eat them. All the schools in attendance have their own individual school gardens. Those students brought along the vegetables that they grew over the past few months to sell to the public. And some big name athletes came out to show their support, like former UFC Hall of Famer Forrest Griffin. So that's something that I'm really passionate about is just what kids put in their body. And NFL Saints quarterback Drew Brees was also in attendance. Not only are these kids um, improving their diets, getting more nutritious foods, but they're also learning great life lessons in the process, and they're also learning great lessons about a business. And all of the proceeds raised from today's farmer's market go back to these schools and back into their gardens. I'm reporting from Bank of Nevada, Gabby Hart, News 3.